Welcome to ET, the easy online cost sheet creation tool for the management of your dangerous substances. This video demonstrates how to easily manage your cost sheet data online. Log in to Worth Online using your customer number, partner number and password. Once logged in, go to My Worth via the account icon. From the drop-down, select Services and then select the application's title. Here you will find ISI. Simply click on the logo to be taken to this page. Click on the grey button to start. Now you have been taken to the ISI landing page, please click on Get Started. How to set up ISI When you log in for the first time, Setup Assist will appear. Please read through and follow the instructions by clicking Next. Firstly, create a working area. Name this yourself, for example, Workshop. Then click Create Working Area, where it will tell you if this has been successful. Once created successfully, click Next. This takes you to update your worth products. All the products you have purchased will appear here with the required data sheets, where you can select them and add them to your collection. Once selected, click Next. Here, please input your email address or addresses for the reminders to be sent to of the following. Data sheet operational instructions, newly purchased chemical products, and for checking third party data sheets and operational instructions. Please select which reminders you wish to receive for each email address. Once inputted, click Next. Here is where you upload your company information and logo. Simply fill in the required fields and choose an image from the file. This will display on the top of every document. Once completed, click Next. And that's it. You have now completed your account. You can come back here at any stage to make changes. Please click Close. Hazardous Substance Management Create a new working area. To create a new working area from your Worth products, click on the Hazardous Substance Management title on the top of the ISI page. From the left hand side, in the drop down, click on Working Areas. Click Create New Working Area and choose a name here that you would like to call it. For example, Workshop 2. Click Create Working Area and this will appear in the left hand navigation. As you can see here, your new working area shows no products. Click the blue button Add Product. Once clicked, this will bring up the following page. This includes all of your Worth products. To update, click Update Your Worth Products. Now you can search and select the products you wish to include in your working area. Once selected with a blue tick, click Add Products to Working Area. A following successful message will display. Once done, click Close. Hazardous Substance Management Adding products to working areas To add products to an already existing working area, click Hazardous Substance Management and in the left-hand navigation, select the working area you wish to add your products to. Then click the blue button that says Add Product. Here you can update your Worth products, search for the products you wish to include, select them and add products to the Working Area button. Hazardous Substance Management Downloading your data sheets To download data, click Hazardous Substance Management and in the left hand navigation, choose the working area you wish to download. Once in, select the products you wish to include with the blue tick. From here you can download the sheets. SDS sheets can be done in PDF or zip file. Operational instructions can be done in PDF or zip file. Hazardous substance index can be done by a PDF or Excel file. Once selected, you can choose which template you wish to download it by and click the display button. This will download. Once open, you can see the templated items here with the symbols, logos and all the information you require. 
Hazardous Substance Management, adding products not purchased before. To add products you've not yet purchased, click Hazardous Substance Management. In the left-hand navigation, click Search Worth Products. Search here via the article number. Select the product with the blue tick and click the Product button. Select the working area you wish to add this to. Click Add Products to the Working Area and close. Hazardous Substance Management Adding third-party products Any third-party products can be created and added for data sheets. To add third-party products, click Hazardous Substance Management. In the left-hand navigation, click Third-party products. Click the blue button, Create Third-party product. Here you can create an article number, example 1234, a description, select an image you wish to upload from file, then select the hazardous logos required. You can add signal words, for example danger, and select your HEUH statements by clicking the right arrow to add. Also select your P statements by clicking the right arrow and to remove either statements click the left arrow. Here you can upload your data sheets and your operational instructions from the supplier. Choose the file to upload. Now set a start date, monthly interval and reminder of this product. Click the save and create additional third party product button to create more or click Save Changes. This will then appear in your index. You can then add this to your working area following the previous steps. This is now part of your cost sheet data management. Occupational safety. Add new planning briefing. To add a new planning briefing, click Operational Safety. In the left hand navigation, click on Briefing and Planning Briefings. Here are the required fields you need to input. Topic, Date, Employees, the interval required and the email addresses for the people to receive the reminders. Click the Add New Briefing button and this will appear in your planning briefings page. Occupational safety. Briefing carried out. Click occupational safety. In the left hand navigation, click briefings carried out. Here you can input all the relevant information. Topic, date, and employees. Files can also be added if you have relevant information for the meeting. Click Add Briefing and this will now appear in your briefings carried out. Settings The settings you can update at any time. In the left hand navigation, the email reminder, you can update the email addresses of who would like to receive the reminders and select or unselect which areas they require. In the left hand navigation, Company address and company logo. This is where you can update any of your company information. You can also select different templates for different depots. In the left hand navigation, column administration. This is for the hazardous substance index for the Excel spreadsheet. Here you can add new columns, for example, shelf number or stock level, or you can untick columns. In the left hand navigation, My Documents. This is where all of your documents are stored easily. You can easily download all of these if required. For example, the Hazardous Substance Index, the Operating Instructions Cargo,
and your safety data sheets. And finally, in the left-hand navigation, Start Setup Assist takes you back to the Setup menu. What the icons mean? This triangular icon means that something has changed in the safety data sheet since you've last looked at it. The circular icon shows that this product is already contained in the working area that you are in. Kosh Management Kosh Management makes it really easy to add products, delete products and save products for future references or to order. You can add products via the previous instructions. To delete products, it's either select with the blue tick or click the delete item for each product. And to save products for future reference or to order, click the shopping trolley icon. ISSI, Online Management of Dangerous Substances Simple, Efficient Online